Hi guys, welcome back to Banyo's Thoughts, your daily dose of adventure and happiness. Yes, woo! I don't know, pero I hope sa inyo. But today is like a very, parang parang napaka gray ng sky. Di ko lang kung ulan or parang baba na energy ngayon. <laughs> Anyway, sana hindi kayo, sana hindi mababa yung energy nyo. Wait, baka di ako narinig. So, ayun, ayusin ko lang. There you go. Um, welcome back again. So, uh, this is already my episode 14. Yay, Lea! Malapit na! <laughs> anyway, today I like to just to share lang. Siguro, like some, sometimes we just have to go back to the things we do in the past to bring back mga good memories. And I was just... Thinking of sharing this, I don't know if you guys have seen this. Some people haven't seen it. Um, this is actually a Business World article that was printed out 2015, December 2015. Yeah, it's actually one of the first business article that was written about the startup that I own, which is called Experience Philippines. And wala na tuwa lang ako because I wanted to share this because. Uh, this is such a. I like really like the photo, and then it's the memories behind the photos as well. Um, and I've been trying to reminisce, wah, wow. reminisce. Tama ng reminisce tayo. No mga nakaraan yan. De. Pero pero ne maganda lang kasi dahil I don't know. That's one of the we were this this photo here is actually taken in Romblon, in during I think it was. Uh, I think it was August of so one five days kami nasa Romblon and first time to go there we took the boat we were a lot of people as you can see we were quite a number of people there and that mountain over the back the beautiful mountain at the back it's actually the one of the hardest mountains to climb in the Philippines I think it's called Mount Giting Giting or G2 tawag nila sa, sa mga mountain climbers medyo mahirap siya akitin it usually takes around Usually, they go overnight sila para umakit sa sa, sa taas, no? Um, because nga masadong but it's really for advanced advanced um, mountain climbers. Uh, we took this photo in the afternoon, ganda na sunset, so we were along the road lang with the with the nice uh, rice field. So we decided to take a photo of it. Uh, the nice thing about it is that you know this is was one of actually the First time we actually branded the the Experience Philippines road trip brand. So we used the start for the first ever Experience Philippines road trip as Experience Philippines. Um, we used to be called in a different name called Tara Let's Go when we changed it, and this is the first actual road trip to Ginawan Alin. So this was actually our first time to go there. My, it was a it was a an experience then for 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 us because nga. It was a long boat ride. Siguro mga, hmm, gabi-gabi. Oh, kapag umaga na yata kami nakarating doon, madaling araw na kami nakarating doon sa, sa Romblon eh. Late. I can't remember. Madaling ako, madaling araw na nga kami nakarating sa Romblon. Tapos, masaya siya kasi I, uh, there, were le- there were not many people in the trip. I think one of the most memorable Uh, event in that trip aside from doing crazy all the crazy stuff is <laughs> siguro yung pauwi namin kasi yung pauwi namin I remember it was a parang ano yun parang may parang may parang yata may event yata or or long weekend siya so madaming tao so madakailangan mo una, unahan mo sila makasakay ng sa, sa boat from the boat pa lang unahan na kayo makasakay ng bus papunta sa sa I can't remember the exact name of the the city that we have to go o Jongan yata eh parang from basta kailangan mo kailangan mo makakuha ng makakuha ng para mak- kailangan mo makakuha ng bus unahan kayo makakuha ng bus paparating doon sa sa port na yun. <laughs> so tataka kami lahat bakit yung mga tao nasa <laughs> Yung lahat ng tao nas naka alam mo yung sa boat if you nakala if you if you've been if you've been in the if you've been taking the passenger boats in the Philippines may usually sa ilalim usually nandoon yung mga um, light vehicles or buses na naka naka 
uh, how do you call it, nakapark sa ilalim. Tapos bubukas na lang yung pinakalikod and alabas na. <laughs> amazing race ang peg. Like literally like amazing race ang peg. Kasi nga pala, sabi-sabi namin, iisa lang pala daw yung bus na pababalik sa bayan. So unahan kayo mapuno yung, mapuno yung bus na yun. All of us were, that was, a, that was the day that we asked everyone to change their shirts to color yellow because we had the yellow colored garden shirt. So, everyone was, okay, sige, para mas madali makakakita. Buti lahat kami naka-yellow. <laughs> yung, yung pababa na yun, pababa na yung boat, yung ano, yung opening ng boat pa ganyan. Grabe, yung mga tao talaga nagtatalunan na dun sa, sa, sa um, boat. And just going to go out. And <laughs> nakisabay rin kami. <laughs> so, sumabay rin kami nakatakbo. <laughs> um, so, considering that we were... I think mga 15. We were all running and we didn't know where to go. Just we just followed everyone where they were running. So para kami mga para kami mga um para kami na ay pagracing talaga. So may mga matatanda, uh, naglalakad rin. Minsan may mga ibang matatanda tumatakbo. So hindi na namin alam sa bubuta. We just followed the the guys who were running so fast, so we followed them. So some of us got to the the ones who, fa- who ran faster got to the bus. So tama-tama may bus nga. <laughs> one of our friends, <laughs> sobrang gentleman niya. Kasi unaan kayo makaupo talaga sa loob ng bus. So, dala yung mga backpack, dala yung mga bag. So, the, I think there were first, the three of us were the first one to, got, to get inside. So, ako naman, since I'm the one who was spearheading the whole, the whole activity, ako yung nagpinapapasok ko na lahat sila. So, si <laughs> one of the guys <laughs> decided to do the same thing. So, lahat pero hindi sa mga road trippers na experience with the beach. Lahat ng mga tao, para siyang, ano, para siyang guide. Oh guys, pasok na po kayo, pasok na po kayo. Sabi ko, uy, paano na tayo upo? Kung wala kang walang, kung lahat sila pinapapasok mo. Ayaw nga, no? <laughs> Sobrang bait ng tao na yun. So, pinaupo niya muna lahat bago siya upo. So, we ended up, we ended up, ito yung nakakato, we ended up sitting, uh, all of us got inside. So, we finally managed to go inside. Uh, we managed to secure some seats, uh, but the, the 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 first ones, kami, we were secured sa pinakatapat, sa pinakarapan. So we katabi namin yung driver. So kita namin lahat ng pangyayari sa harapan. So the rest naman nasa likod uh, as well. So anyway, so secured now. We were managed. We, we the bus started moving, and so we can now go back, go to our next destination uh, without any worries. <laughs> Ang nakatawat pala pag nasa harapan, kita mo lahat. So, yung dadaanan pala namin na daan is actually para siyang since since it's like a one parang one vehicle lang yung pwede dumaan sa sa gilid ng ma- mountain. <laughs> Grabe, kitang-kita namin yung bangil so from the from the from the very front. <laughs> Siguro yung 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 that was the longest 10 minutes na move yung yung dahan-dahan yung bus gumagalaw para lang maiwasan yung yung cliff tapos para kasi siksikan ng mga sakyan that was the longest 10 minutes of our lives parang kitang-kita talaga namin parang hindi kami humihinga the whole time i remember that it was fun I and mean, it's it's a memory na na that when i think about it, the reason i'm sharing it is because it's good Sometimes to recall those, um, di ba sinasabi nga nila, you know, you can't dwell too much on the past and stuff like that. But I think, uh, I mean, it's kind of exaggerated for saying that. But uh, there are, there is a, you know, meaning naman. Na. But for, for, for me, in this particular case, it's good to look at that and look at those good memories because it's a source of your joy. And it's, these are the things that you can tell your 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 kids, your grandkids, as you grow older, uh, adventures that you've never thought that you will, you know, kasi, at, you know, you would never uh, probably do again, no? Uh, because it only happened at that particular point in time. And I think about it now that now as we move, you know, as we grow older and as, as years pass by or time passes by, one thing I learned about those building those memories is that you take advantage of the moments that you have. Like, don't think of it na, ah, may, may, pwede ko pa naman siya gawin bukas or pwede ko naman siya gawin next time. Um, or, you know, for example, you're exposed to an opportunity and biglang, uh, bigla na lang humirit yung, you know, your, your brain says na, ay, nakakahiya or, ay, may nanonood, ay, may, 
me. Parang, you know, jahe lang, parang ganyan. Uh, if that's the mindset that we have, we can miss out on those opportunities. And many times, I think in our lives, we are always given opportunities to go out of our comfort zone. And always, again, lagi naman, lagi naman uncomfortable talaga to go out of our comfort zone because hindi tayo sanay doing things outside of our, our space or something that gives us security. But my always my principle always when I always I think this is the one I live by is that there's always magic when you go out of your comfort zone. Why? Because there's always the possibilities. Like hundreds and thousands of possibilities the moment we step out of our secure, you know, space and we explore something outside of that. Um, you know, that's the one that's one thing I like about and that's what I miss as well, now that we are all in this global pandemic and, and I'm doing this recording, maybe I'll recall back again this recording, uh, that, you know, what people miss is really the feeling of, I think not just so much of the travel, of bit going out, but I think they miss the idea of the experience that happens when you go out, when you travel, when you explore the sunsets, uh, the feeling of the sand in your feet, the feel, the smell of the salt water, the, 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 the 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 nice cool breeze at night the stars the yung sound ng, ng crickets sa gabi. and most of all what you miss is the adventures that you have that are not planned like like yung sa amin, in our case sa namin, we have to take kalo namin ma, may buses talaga na regular uh, na available but it turns out that that particular day actually there were several dapat but i think that particular day there was only just one it's a good thing that I uh, studied it beforehand, and um, but that was a, a fun adventure that I will not forget. Because it's But uh, at the end of the day, it was a it was a memory that all of us laughed afterwards, and it made us also closer because uh, people had their own different unique experiences while they were running, while they were going inside the bus, while they were hanging out inside the bus, and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So it's again going back to to that opportunity that sometimes that show that pops up uh, every now and then in our in our lives um, you should take advantage of it like you know if there's like an opportunity to go out of our comfort zone and learn something new and experience something new then we should try it you know of course as long as again in, in mod, it's as long as it's not gonna hurt you as long as it's not gonna hurt anyone else wala kang tinatapakan di ka masasaktan and it's something that you will think you think that it will help you grow and develop as, as a better person in the in the long run then go ahead go do it it's it's not gonna be it's never going to be a, a loss for trying out something new whether it is a whether it's a it's a it's a a positive experience or a negative experience, it's still an experience, you know, at the end of the day. Um, of course, you, again, in moderation, and you have to be very prudent about it as well whenever you do uh, a, a, when you ever try out something. So, exploring food, for example, trying to eat out, you know, for, for you know, and I remember because of that trip, um, one of my friends there, uh, I've, I guess it's, I've never tried Isao in my life. You know, I, I, I always found it a bit parang hindi ko kaya kumain ng isaw. <laughs> Pero uh, siguro dahil sa dahil you're, you're, you're in that stage where sige, you, you, since they're all eating it and everyone is, everyone is uh, encouraging you to try it out as well. So might as well try it out. No? So bottom line, now I eat isaw, no. So in fact, that's, uh, when I used to live in, a, in, in my other uh, flat, there's a girl, there's a nanay who always makes iso at night and you always buy it there. It's, it's good. As long as malinis naman talaga siya. So, this is ko ng mga natutunan. Tsaka yung, yung tinatawag nilang, ah, hindi ko matandaan kung shopaw ba yun or, or something like that. Para siyang, may pila talaga lagi yung line na pag umaga, nauubos lagi yung bread nila na yun sa every morning. So, ako ginawa ko, every early morning, pumila na ako para makabili for, for us to try it out. I can't remember the name of the store. They only make a few hundreds of that kind of bread. And then it's really, really good. Anyway, again, those are the memories that I have of the place. Um, it's a beautiful place from Blon. Uh, I can't really wait to go back there again and to explore it once more time. Um, because we only explored a few of the areas there in the regions, but they're generally they're more 
pa daw na pwedeng puntahan at, at gawin no uh, yun i mean that's a, that's a, something that i would like to share with everyone you know for looking back at memories is a good thing uh, recalling those memories because it gives you like the sense of like, you know the happy hormone um, and at the same time the looking back at the activities and so, the things the memories that you've done with the friends that you've made there uh, can give you that spark na okay and you know that you can start when you start going out of your comfort zone and trying to new trying new things um, magic happens you know it, it, you you personally change you personally grow etc etc anyway minisip lang kasi ako ngayon i just want to share something with you guys uh kukunin ko lang siya tandali dadalhin ko na rin to para makita <laughs> I was, I was actually doing a mini mini experiment. Di kayo makapaniwala. You know, during the quarantine, I think March, the first time in the quarantine, I was, I was, uh, I bought apples. You know, I bought a, uh, madaming apple. I mean, madaming apples. Pero min tinitin ako na isa. <laughs> yung tinitin ako isa na apple, ito pa rin. That was still March. Ano ngayon? June 8 na. <laughs> Color green pa rin. <laughs> So, inisip ko kung inisip ko ngayon kung yung apple na to ay legit yung kinain ko na apple legit pa talaga na apple or talagang or fake apple yon kasi green pa rin siya hindi pa rin siya nasisira up to now ana iniwan ko lang talaga siya sa labas just to test if it's gonna last long then i realized yung apple pala na to has wax covered uh, uh, covered around it i mean it's covered with wax I think I suppose the wax naman is edible, but still, imagine mo yung apple nato. So pag dinip siguro to sa hot water, tanggal yung wax, siguro masisira talaga siya. But wala lang gusto lang ishare, kasi yung apple nato na weird don talaga. It's still color green, it still looks so fresh. So it makes me wonder, shit, yung mga binibili pala don sa loob ng 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 grocery, ng mga apples, can last like long because of the wax. Anyway, nasa, nasabi ko lang, trivia, di ko lang alam kung very helpful sa inyo, but yun lang. Anyway, that's it for today. And thank you very much for listening to me uh, again for this Banyo Thoughts. It's, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day ahead of, wonderful week ahead of you. Uh, it's the start of the new work week. Um, yeah, so thank you for listening and thank you for staying tuned with this Banyo Thoughts podcast, video podcast. Uh, and hope to see you guys again tomorrow. See you guys. Bye-bye.